What secret could ruin your life? My justice boner is involuntarily throbbing. Raping your dealer's sister is not a smart move. He's lucky he still has his kneecaps. Or an intact skull. He's playing the long game. Can't say it isn't impressive revenge-wise. Fifteen years ago between jobs I took a short-term gig helping a large gay porn company assisting them resolving some performance issues on their website. It was supposed to be only two weeks. That was 15 years ago. No one in my extend family knows that I work in gay porn, let alone know that I'm in charge of everything except video production. You are such a sweet, innocent child. This is simultaneously the most heartwarming and heartbreaking thing I've ever read. The fact your love was so pure when she was so abusive. My dad, probably, sexually abused me when I was a kid. I say probably because I don't actually remember it, but all the signs were there. I used to not want to clean slash touch my genital area and once I had blood in my panties, my period started many years later, just to name a few. Apparently he drugged me to make me sleep and then do whatever he did. The case went to court but they decided there wasn't enough proof, so he wasn't charged. My mom was granted full custody though. I don't really feel like it was my fault, but I definitely feel disgusting. I mean, it's about the most disgusting thing a person could do. I don't really know what the point of writing this was, but it feels a bit liberating to be able to say it. I hope anybody who's gone through familiar things isn't doing too badly. When I was about five years old, my sister, two years old, and I were in the backyard in a kiddie pool, when my mom went inside, I attempted to drown my sister. After I saw her lifeless, I realized that it was a big mistake, pulled her out of the pool, and called for my mom. Luckily she knew CPR and she was life-flighted to the hospital. My mom thanked me for saving her, pulling her out of the pool. Next week was my birthday, the police, firefighters, paramedics came to my house to give me gifts and celebrate my birthday. To this day 20 years later, I still think about it. I remember the day so vividly, not a soul knows the real truth. Little kids often don't fully understand the consequences of life and death situations. You made a really bad childish decision, but recognized the gravity of what you'd done and immediately took action. I'd commend five-year-old you. A normal reaction for a little kid who just did something bad is to run and hide. You didn't do that and your sister is alive today. I forged my high school transcripts to get into university. I can't even think about the consequences to my actions if anyone were to ever find out. I'm three weeks shy of graduating with a degree in biology. I own accounts on multiple sites dedicated to taking down child pornographers. If anyone knew who I was, I imagine there would be a lot of perverts wanting revenge, and I don't want to put anyone at risk. As a mother to two kids, I wish you a wonderful and happy life. When I was 10, my cousin sexually molested me during a sleepover at my aunt's house. My aunt walked in on her molesting me and took me away from her. However, since that day it was never talked about within my family and everyone acts like that day never existed. A similar thing happened to me when I was about 6 and he was 13. He didn't get caught, but my grandmother figured it out when I started drawing detailed male genitalia on characters in newspaper cartoons. The whole family just doesn't talk about it, and I didn't figure out myself till a scent memory of the strain of indica weed he was high on when he did it triggered the memory to flood back when I was 22. Please talk with your wife. Yes, it will hurt her to know what's really going on, but she is your partner and you ought to trust her. You cannot solve your problems alone and you shouldn't have to. This is not a secret that will ruin your life if it gets out. It's a secret that will ruin your life if you keep it. As a parent of that kid. Talk to someone. My son thought he was edgy and funny but was on a dark path. Eventually, he was turned in. It was hell for him and for me, but it was better than running its natural course. <laughs>